do not shoot with my hand. I shoot with my mind. I do not kill with my gun. I kill with my heart. The Dark Tower. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in for my opinion slash review of Sony's The Dark Tower starring Matthew McConaughey and Idris Elba. I've been looking forward to this one. But before we get into the review, do your boy a favor. Do be Avery a favor. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. Help me reach my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers. And also click the like button. Let's see if we can get this video to have 1,000 likes. All right, now that we got that out of the way, out that, yeah, la, la, la. And now that we got that out of the way, we can get into the movie. The Dark Tower, I'm sure you heard of it before. It is This movie is being adapted from a book uh, that was written by Stephen King a while ago. I believe there are eight books in the series, and I have not read any of them and I may, uh, because I heard they were pretty good, and the premise just seems kind of cool. Uh, but about the movie, like my expectations, uh, when I first saw the trailer, I was like, okay, that seems pretty cool. I like Idris Elba, I like Matthew McConaughey. But what The Dark Tower is about is, okay, we have Earth, but Earth is not the only plane of existence. You have other planes of existence, you have other dimensions, and it's all being kind of held together by this dark uh, tower. That is in the other, I forgot the name, I think because Earth is called like Keystone Earth and then like this other Earth is called like, I don't want to say Middle Earth, I forgot what it was called or whatever, I'm pretty sure if you read the book you know. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. But that's where I, so we on Keystone Earth, you know, that's where the world that we know where you watching this video. But over here we got the man in the black or whatever, or over here we got the man in the black played by Matthew McConaughey. You know, he's just typical evil guy, Satan, um, you know, a Satan worshiper or some type of, uh, what do they call him in the film? A uh, what, did, what did Roland call Matthew McConaughey? Sorcerer. A sorcerer or whatever. He's one of those guys and just want to rule over everything and destroy the Dark Tower because of the Dark. The Dark Tower is, is, is the pillar of it all, of all the worlds. Apparently, that's how I took it. And if that comes crawling down, then this is going to be chaos and this dimension going to be spilling over this dimension and demons going to be coming and and eating people for no reason, eating babies and eating their eyeballs and stuff like that. And that's bad. That can't happen. So Roland is a gunslinger. You know, he be with all the guns, doing all this action. And it looked badass. Uh, that was one thing that turned me on. I was like, this dude is throwing chambers of bullets in the air and catching them. And just, do, 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 do. I was like, whoa, this is some like, you know, updated Matrix times two type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what got me excited or whatever. And um, yeah, so I, I was really, 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 really happy about that. But the main thing about the plot is, is that, well, do I want to I want to set it about the plot? Well, yeah, well, no, I won't because I don't want to spoil it for you. But we got this boy that be having these visions because he has a power. He has a great telekinesis abilities. And Matthew McConaughey's character, the man in black, what he wants to do is get all these powerful children to help him enhance his weapon to destroy the dark tower so that is the premise of the movie now the first thing i liked about the movie is everything that i just explained there was a lot of world building a lot of universe building that was fun i was enjoying all of that there was no uh, no epilogue in the beginning or whatever talking about thousands of years ago not that that's a problem because they do that in the I, I, did i say epilogue i meant prologue uh, when they say that, you know, I, I don't mind those, but there wasn't anything like that. They just kind of just go, the movie just kind of goes along and you get to know the world as you're getting to know everything else, just like any other movie. So I, I do like that. Uh, I love Matthew McConaughey as the villain. He was a great villain. The man in black, he was dark. He was sinister. He was truly evil. Uh, something that I did not like about, about his characters, his abilities is it never really seemed to me like he had a challenge. I mean, he can just go up to anybody and say whatever he wanted for the most part, and then they would bend at his will. And yes, that is a cool power to have. It's like, damn, this dude is so powerful. How are we going to stop him? No matter what we do, he can say whatever he wants, and that happens. You know, that's fine. But at the same time, I want there to be some type of balance, you know, because if the antagonist is that powerful, you're kind of just like, okay, well, you've been fighting this war for how long now? And you can do this and you haven't won yet? It seemed like you should have won this centuries ago. But that's just a small gripe. As far as Idris Elba is concerned, like I said, you know, uh, 
He has looked great as the gunslinger, and there aren't that many gunslingers left. Everything about him and the gunplay was just fire. I loved it. It was real, real cool. Uh, really enjoyed all that. Very nice choreograph. Uh, zipping back on the other side, something I did not like was the visual effects. The visual effects in this movie was trash. I'll be honest with you. I'm not gonna. This movie did not suck at all. But at the same time, this movie was not just freaking fantastic you have to see it It was a great entertaining film and with all that being said really the only thing i could complain about were two things is one the visual effects were not good and the other thing i complained about i'll talk to you a little bit later about that i'm just gonna uh wait on that but there was this one scene to where like a floor in a room in the house came alive or something i didn't know what the hell was going on and then later on he was uh Idris Elba was trying to fight some red creature i didn't know what it was it just seemed like a big red blob and then Another part where the effects came through is like it was some type of bat wombat creature with just deformed in every way. I couldn't even see what it was. It was it was very hard to make out, very hard to depict. Uh, but, you know, it, it was hard to make out. The movie is very short. It only it comes in like right at 90 minutes or like 95 minutes or like an hour and 34 hour and 35 minutes, which is fine. We don't always need two and a half hour blockbusters or whatever. So that's fine. You know, I do appreciate it being short in nature. Just kind of get straight to the point. You know, I got evil versus good. Good. Trying to stop the evil guys to take over the world. So I love Matthew McConaughey. I love Idris Elba. I love the world building in this movie. That was a lot of fun. There seems to be um, so much more to this world that this film did not touch on, which is fine because that just warrants more sequels if this film is successful. But we'll we'll just have to wait and see uh, because right now I don't think it's doing too well on Rotten Tomatoes. But at the same time, that is not the end all be all, you know, as far as how uh, well um, a film is going to do. Uh, something else that I want to mention is, um, like I said, I like the world building. I like Matthew McConaughey. I like Idris Elba. I like the main lead, the little boy or whatever. Uh, you know, he was smart. You know, he, he, um, I, I liked him. He was fast. He was quick. And there's a reason why I'm saying it because he did have to escape a number of times. And, uh, you know, I, I liked him. He was a, you know, a pretty good lead or, or, or whatever. So, Movie is very enjoyable. I, I, I'm, I'm really into action adventure, you know, science fiction type things, uh, fantasy and whatnot. And this is a, a great example of that. Uh, well, no, there is another thing I will complain about. This is being distributed and produced by Sony Pictures. And, you know, there I didn't read the book, but as I was watching the movie, I could tell that there was a few key moments and a few character moments to where I could tell that they stood out in the book. Like, you know, this is chapter seven. And they have to fight the demon monsters. And I'm just making up a generic name or whatever. I bet that the demon monsters like popped out, you know, significantly in the book. And, you know, for, for you to remember them well in this and any other instance like that, they were just in the movie and kind of just there like a checkbox. You know what I'm saying? Like when like I, there are seriously, there are a group of characters that, you know, we had to defend ourselves from. And let's just call them the ninja demons. And they were cool. I just wish the fan would have focused on them more instead of just brushing over them. It seemed like all the cool elements in the book, you know, all the fantasy stuff that they just kind of inserted that in the movie and didn't really flesh it out, really didn't give it a spotlight. That's probably what made the book good. You know, I don't know, but I just kind of had that feeling as I was watching the movie. Still enjoyable, just didn't have that pop, you know, uh, that I was wanting. The other thing about this movie I want to uh, complain about is just, you know, the world is at stake here. The, no, not the world. The universe is. No, not even the universe. The universe and multiple dimensions to my understanding is at stake. So when it all comes down to when it all comes down to the end and there's the con conclusion, the final showdown where, you know, the good guys fighting the final boss, you know, stays 10 or whatever. It was a very well choreographed scene. But at the same time, it was a bit underwhelming because I'm like, OK, wow, it's it. That's over. You know, like the battle for all of this land is just going to come down to these certain individuals going at it. I mean, you know, where's the armies? Uh, you know, they, I'm just throwing it out there. But I, I did, you know, I don't want to say I expected more, but I would have appreciated more because my expectations were low. But I would have appreciated it more, you know, like, I, but it, it was cool. There's a scene in this movie where Matthew McConaughey and Idris Elba are fighting uh bat oh, i'm coming clipping this whole thing sorry if the audio sucks but uh there's a you know scene in the trailers where they fight and that scene was cool and i liked it and i liked the way it was resolved 
But, you know, to be trying to take over the whole world or the universe and all these dimensions or whatnot, the film just could have gave you a little bit more. If I had to rate the Dark Tower out of a 7 out of 10, I, my, I just gave you my rating. If I had to rate the Dark Tower out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Yes, a 7 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen the Dark Tower yet? Do you want to see it? What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead, yeah, subscribe. Click that bell, be notified, so and get all the content that I have to provide. Help me reach my first milestone of reaching 1,000 subscribers. You can go to my website as well, bookmark it, check me out there. And guys, also look me up on social media. You really don't even have to look me up because the links are in the description box. So there you go. You have no excuse. But no, seriously, guys, I want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review for Sony's and Matthew McConaughey's and Idris Elbow's The Dark Tower. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.